What is up guys, it is your boy Burning Gross coming at you, self-taught designer. So today, we're gonna talk about how to get design experience. All right guys, let's get, actually, are we gonna do glasses or no glasses? We going no glasses, <laughs> let's go. Damn, it's Brandon Gross back here again. Let me get in my crosshair. So, design experience. How we get that? As we all know, self-taught designers. So I'm gonna come from a little different angle of how I got my experience. I didn't go to school. I basically started from coming out as a artist in high school and then progressing into learning graphic design in high school and then getting design jobs on the internet at the age 17, 18. And I kind of fell into this because I actually started a YouTube channel really early on, older Brandon Gross, if you guys have actually looked me up at all. And I was doing speed art. That's kind of how I got started. Got like a thousand subscribers and I kind of had people ask me to do um, small channel works for them. Really, how to get design experience is really putting yourself out there. How do you put yourself out there? Let's talk about it. You get work when people know you. And my outlet was YouTube in the beginning. YouTube and other t-shirt design stuff that basically popped up on Google, first in Google, from doing Beast Mode shirts, which was very strange. Anyway, how to get seen. You can do this a couple ways. From a self-taught perspective, you have to do a lot of outreaching, so a lot of emailing people, seeing if you can, giving them answers to their problem, bringing value to them. Basically just outreaching, say, hey, you know, I have an answer to your problem, here it is. And they respond like, hey, that's really cool. And most likely since they haven't implemented that solve, they don't have the person that can really do that. The only person that they knew who could do that was the person that gave them the answer. So then I would get hired. So that's kind of how I got experience, is just continuously outreaching, building a personal brand like that at the age of 16, 17, 18. So there's that route. That's like self-taught outreaching. The second route is the learning aspect. You're really looking for an opportunity to learn design and this can come in the form of school, an internship, or a job. In my experience, as you guys seen my internship, my first design internship video, it was a print shop basically. I got a lot of experience there at a very young age. I filled out for that position and basically just wanted to learn the ropes and I got to work there for free. Um, and I learned a lot taking advantage of opportunities and a lot some of these opportunities might come at a price of time meaning they will be free on the person who's teaching you whose side so for example my internship I was not paid until they saw I was a very valuable asset to them by the end of the summer and they decided to pay me so that was really awesome of them it was really just putting in the time to learn the craft and that's really what it's all about. If you're looking for opportunities, you have to sweat. And that's really what it is. So look for opportunities where you can sweat is really what I'm trying to say. And that can be in school. You're going to sweat like a motherfucker in there. <laughs> I, that wasn't the type of sweat that I was looking for. Um, I like a different type of sweat. But school is very, you know, that's one route. Um, outreaching, internship, job. Outreaching is part of the last two. <laughs> internship, jobs. <laughs> it's one of those three things to get experience. You're outreaching at some to someone to do something, to learn something. Whether that is spec work, and you guys can watch my thoughts on spec work here. I don't really like free work unless it puts me a step further in my career or it helps me get along the path that I'm trying to navigate as a designer. So that's how I strategically go about looking for opportunities. Where will this get me? How will this add to my portfolio? Is doing this work going to take me where I want to be going in in my career to find opportunities I'm gonna give you the one two three of really how to find opportunities ask yourself these questions what do you want to work on then when you answer that question find the people who work on those things contact those people and give them an answer to a pain point that they have or offer yourself up for free not just free that's not the value proposition tell them what your value is and that you're willing to do it for a certain price whether that be your time or a specific payment. What do you wanna work on? Who does that type of work? How can you get in contact with them? Find a way to communicate to them that you are extremely valuable and this is the result you're gonna to bring to their organization, team, whatever they have going on, all right? 
just main takeaways from this is get seen. Figure out how to get seen. The easiest way to get seen is approach people <laughs> via email. And I have this video here, how to find anybody you can imagine. So look at this video here. Once you know who you want to contact or what the type of work you want to work on and you figure out who does it, bing, 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 watch this video, okay? This video will tell you how to contact them, where to contact them, and just that whole video just goes from A to Z on what to do to basically get not only get an internship, a job. It's very helpful, and when I learned this, it made it so much easier not only to get work, but it's also made it a lot easier to outreach to people I'm trying to get in contact with and do work with as well. The answer to getting design experience is putting yourself out there. Put yourself out there, guys, and I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, guys, comment, like, subscribe. I swear, y'all keep dodging the subscribe and like buttons. I know y'all just like, Ugh. damn, I have a hole in my pants. That is bad. Brandy Gross, self-taught design. Anything I missed, you have any questions on? In the comments.